Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashi Goel and in this video we will discuss about profit or loss percent. So in the previous video of this topic profit and loss we learned about profit and loss and its word problems. So and now in this video we will discuss about how to calculate profit and loss in terms of percentage. How much, how much percent of profit occurred and how much percent of loss occurred in a question. So let's start this video. So before applying the questions, first we know the formulas that how to calculate profit percentage. First, we need to find the value of profit that we learned how to calculate in the previous video. If you have not watched the video, please visit my channel and watch the part one and part two of profit and loss. Then you understand how to calculate profit. So first thing I want to tell you that profit and loss both depend on the cost price. If your cost price is higher than the selling price, that means the loss is occurred. And if the cost price is lower than the selling price, that means profit is occurred. We discuss all these things in the last two videos. And in this video, we will discuss about how to convert profit into profit percentage. So we applied these formulas to convert profit into profit percentages and the loss into loss percentage by applying this formula. So as you can see in this formula, they write it profit, CP and 100. So in the question, they give you the value of cost price, but in some questions, they did not give you the value of profit. So first you need to find the profit and then profit percentage. Same in the case of loss. So let's apply this formula and learn how to use. So this is our first question, find profit or loss percentage. So first we need to see, what occurred in this question. As you can see, the cost price is 450 and the selling price is 500. Here, SP is greater than CP. That means we have profit. So first we need to calculate the profits. How can we calculate? By selling price minus subtract cost price. So selling price is 500 and the cost price is 450. So we have a profit of rupees 50. Now we are going to apply this formula of profit percent. So profit percent is profit over CP into 100. So I told you in the beginning that everything is depend upon our CP. So the profit is of 50 and our cost price is 450 multiply 100. Try to eliminate, eliminate the zero with zero. What is left? Five multiply 100 over 45. So in table of five, five and 45 comes. So we eliminate it by nine. So it becomes 100 by nine. We can write it in the mixed form. Nine, nine times one, nine times one and one. That is 11 whole one over nine percent. The total percentage of profit is 11 whole 1 over 9%. That's how you can calculate the profit percent. So what are the steps? First, you need to find the profit. By First, you need to check whether the profit occur or the loss occur in the question. If the selling price is greater, then find the value of profit by applying the formula SP minus CP. And after that, apply the formula of profit percentage that is profit over CP into 100. The value of profit you calculated, the value of CP is given in the question, put the value and calculate your answer. I hope it's clear. Now move forward to the next question. Yes. So in this question, they give you the value of cost price is 100 and the value of selling price is 72. So what we notice, the cost price is greater than selling price. That means the loss is incurred. We have a loss. So first we need to find the value of loss and then we find the value of loss percent. So what is the formula for loss? And that is CP minus SP, cost price minus selling price. Cost price is 100 and the selling price is 72. So 100 minus 72 is 28. Now applying the formula of loss percentage, that is loss over CP, very good. Everything is done on CP. Loss over CP into 100. So the loss is 28 and the cost price is 100. Multiply 100. Eliminate 100 with 100. That 
that is 28%. We have a loss of 28%. I hope you understand how to calculate profit and loss percentage. Thank you so much for watching this video. And in the next video, we will discuss about some word problems on how to calculate profit and loss update, loss percent and how to apply this in the word problem. So stay tuned and wait for the upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching this video.